Hello everyone, my name is Carlos Morales. I run AI for Ambic. So, so next I'd like to talk about four basic ideas that I want you to take away from this presentation. The first is, and this one is, is, is a little controversial, right? Uh, is that AI is the easiest way to do hard things. It is an easy button. It's easy for maybe a easy. It's easy for, for maybe an AI person to say this, but I'll, I'll, I'll show you in, in a subsequent slide how AI is getting easier for everyone. And it really is uh, the, the shortest path to, to solving hard problems, such as like elliptical tracking versus you know, stationary cycle tracking. Um, point number two is that right now there are multiple tailwinds um, uh, really accelerating uh, small AI, like AI at the endpoint. Third bit is that AI is only part of the solution. I already talked about AI is, is, is a means to an end. But if, if you're going to have an AI-based uh, product or an AI, a product that incorporates AI, it's important to know that it's not just AI. You have to do the sensing. It's just as important. You have to turn the sensor data into... Uh, stuff that the, the AI can, can operate on. That's called feature extraction. Um, and then you have to do something with that data. So having that entire uh, uh, pipeline in mind when you're designing your system is very important. And then the final and important one is that AI is practical today. I'm not talking about um, some esoteric thing. I'm, I'm, I'm going to show you real use cases of things that you could do with your products today. So getting into why AI is an easy button. Um, what I'm showing you, this graph here shows the progress of uh, a very common task in AI, which is uh, image classification. It's a thing that tells, tells you whether you have a picture of a cat or, you know, you can search on your phone now for pictures of cars and uh, it'll go through your photo library and find you pictures of cars. Um, this is an old problem. Uh, computer scientists have been trying to solve image classification for decades. So if you look at this graph, it starts in 2010. That's the tail end of decades of research in image classification. At the tail end of that, data scientists or computer scientists were able to get it to about 25% error rate, which is still very high. Like it's not a useful number. You can in very specific domains, maybe that's useful, but in general domains, it's not. 2012, we we see the introduction of AlexNet, which is um, really the first like wow uh, model that we saw, and immediately this AI technique started beating uh, the 30 or so years of research that came before it, and you can see it very rapidly. Uh, that yellow line there is human perception, uh, human human uh, uh, accuracy. So in 2015, we already had a, an AI model that was better at classifying images than the average person was. And you see that the graph ends in 2017, and it's not that I'm being lazy, it's that 2017, they declared this problem is solved. We're not going to do this challenge anymore. So this is, this is something that was super hard to do, and AI made easy. And the reason AI makes things easy is you don't, like the traditional way of uh, doing analytics or trying to extract a signal from, say, 3D accelerometer, is for an expert to look at it and do some DSP, do some math, and like, oh, that peak, that peak usually looks like what it looks like when somebody's walking, right? But there's lots of different ways of walking. There's a lot of different gates and so on. And AI doesn't make any assumptions about that. What you do with AI is you send, you just show it a metric ton of data and it will find the important features in that data for you using statistical methods. It's no rocket science. It's not magic. Sometimes like the Dolly and the, all the recent uh, Lambda, if you've been following the news, it feels a little bit magical. It feels like there's an intelligence there, but it isn't. It's a, it's a, statistical engine that is is doing some pattern matching for you so that's why that's why it's a more powerful way to program um, the next step is 
uh, using AI to program AI. So AutoML uh, or uh, Neural Architecture Search are two ways of doing this. And what that does is it, it puts the control back to where it should have been. Like the gate, and there's somebody who studied gates and got a PhD in runology or whatever. That should be the person who's doing the programming, right? He, that's the person who should be identifying what data is important, what data is not important, and should be building a system around that, not an AI uh, data scientist. AI data scientists will have to learn about shoes. Uh, it's better to have a shoe expert teach the AI. So that's what I mean by easy button. This is how it is.